86 to 58, the police accountability bill passed in the House after about eight hours of debate. This is a controversial topic and um, certainly one where passions run high on all sides of it. Among the several changes in the bill, it would create an office of the inspector general with subpoena power, establish local civilian review boards, require dash and body cameras, and ban chokeholds and the use of military equipment. However, the biggest debate was over ending qualified immunity. The majority of police are good, decent people. They are people who put their lives on the line every day to keep us safe, and we cannot take that ability away from them by taking away qualified immunity. This is not anti-law enforcement. What, what it is anti is anti-bad police officers. Qualified immunity protects officers from being sued by the public unless the officer violates a clearly established constitutional right. The latest language in the bill wouldn't hold officers personally liable, but rather the municipalities. However, some say it's still stripping them of protections. Once qualified immunity starts to get nicked away at, which this starts, there should be no cop that feels safe going on the road and going to work without having his own insurance. Lawmakers did vote on an amendment that would have removed the section on qualified immunity, but it failed after a tie vote. State Representative Anthony Nolan, who's also a New London police officer, said he was in favor of the bill because he says it's time for change. We believe black lives matter. We believe that there are good police officers, mm -hmm. but we believe we are here to pass a bill to make those, black, those bad officers stand out and get out. As for what's next, the bill now moves on to the Senate. In Hartford, Gabby Molina, Fox 61 News.